I'm involved with a couple of other volunteer activities, but I have wanted for a while now to get involved with uh, children, especially in reading programs, because I had heard about them. And in fact, I have a neighbor who is a volunteer at, here at Gainesville Reads, and he spoke so highly of it that I thought, well, gosh, I'm gonna go up there and check it out. And so I did, and there were several things about this program that I really liked. First of all, is you don't have to have any teaching background, which I don't. Uh, and then secondly, the organization here at Gainesville Reads, I just thought it was very impressive and all of the tools that you all have to help with the teaching. All of this just seemed um, just very, very attractive to me. And I thought, boy, I wanna give this a shot. Well, when you work with a child one-on-one, -on -one, it benefits that child to be more self-confident and carry it to other areas that she has experiences with. I've seen that change in my student already. So I have had the opportunity to see quite a bit of progress and probably the most uh, satisfying to me is that he's not so hard on himself. He would always say, can you read it to me? Can you read it to me? Because he didn't want to read. But now he will say, I want to read it now. He's getting more motivated each time that he comes and sees me. Her fluency is much improved. And I'm just really, I'm really pleased. And also it's, it's just like, it's the highlight of my Friday. When kids are in school, they don't get a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction. If he didn't have a person sitting next to him, he might just fly over the word and just keep on going and not really care. But when there's somebody sitting next to him, he's, he's much more confident in trying to figure out what that word is and moving forward. I mean, these could be your future astronauts, your future teachers, and they may be small, but they really do have a lot to offer. And like I've said before, if they overcome this challenge, they can absolutely overcome uh, anything else that comes in the future, because I think it's something they'll look back and be like, wow, if I, if I overcame this, if I had the support, if I had the resources, I can definitely do that in the future as well. Gainesville, as a community will benefit from this program. Because when we have children in our school system that have a chance to succeed, they will benefit the whole community. So this is not just about the school, this is about the future. On Friday, December 2nd, the Northeast Georgia History Center will hold its third annual 24-hour telethon to raise donations for Gainesville Reads. Enjoy 24 hours of free and fascinating history programs, raffles, live trivia games, story readings, and more, all to support literacy in our community. Donate before December 2nd to receive our early bird extras. We're also accepting local business sponsorships until November 25th. Details at www.negahc.org slash telethon.